going on? What's hey, all work, no pleasure. I ain't here to make friends, big stepper. Hey, bad guy, heat ledger. Ready for whatever, I'll be front and center Don't fly too close to the sun, your body chopped up by propellers Came in, came in arrogant, but left out in the stretcher Fuck the comparison, y'all know y'all couldn't replicate it Chillin' in the desert, I'm good under pressure Stick around Look at Kyle Steffens here on the broadcast. Steffens getting an invite to the Dome. Very accomplished, modified driver behind the wheel of that number eight machine. He's driven a lot of cars. Yes. A ton. Over three. Hey, Brian, just to expand on your point that you and Chase made a couple of minutes ago about Kyle Steffens being ultra versatile, we talk about his success in the modified, particularly Chase brought up his success in outlaw cars, but let's not forget for the last two months or so, Kyle Steffens has been on a one-track mind to improve his USAC Silver Crown program, and so far it has worked wonders. He comes into Ford Crown Weekend fifth in the points, still chasing that elusive first top five on the season. He does have a seventh place finish out at Hutchinson, Kansas' is Salt City Speedway, but things are slowly but surely improving for Kyle Steffens as, like I said, he's kind of on a one-track mind with this USAC Silver Crown program, so look out for Kyle Steffens this week. This could be the weekend where he finally gets that first top five of the season, Brian. Looking at his finishes on the season, started off with a 12th place finish out at Toledo, 15th at Winchester. He was not at Belleville, came back when we were at IRP with a 10th place finish. He was 11th at Port Royal, 13th at Madison, 7th out in Hutchinson, Kansas. And from there, like I said, very consistent. 9th at Jennerstown, 9th at Worldwide Technology, 8th at Springfield, and 7th at DeCoin. So to your point, yes, he has definitely been on an upward trend here, the driver. Next pair of drivers onto the speedway, rolling onto the back straightaway to St. Charles, Missouri. Driver of the Performance Plus Global Logistics, Shaver Powered B, Spartan Transportation, Steffens Motorsports, number 08. This is Kyle Steffens. Kyle Steffens and the number 08. Pair of wins on the season back in February up at Doe Run in a winged open 500 car competition. He is joined on track by Eric Gentry. He's out of Robards, Kentucky. Driver of the TC competition, Chevrolet B's. Tim Simmons owned number three machine. Another driver. Looking to make his first start here in USAC Silver Crown competition. As Steffens rolls around lap number one, ninth quick at a 17.975, 17.975 seconds. Eric Gentry, 20th on the field right now at a 19.427. The modified ace going to roll around to the front straightway. Does he improve on lap number two? He does not. 18.09. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at Eldora Speedway. It is 2024. Not 2020. Uh, this is the Ford Crown Nationals. We qualified 11th last night. Lost all of our footage from qualifying, but that's okay. We're going to go out the hot lap here shortly after high limit and USAC sprint cars. And then uh, we'll probably be the last feature of the night. So we probably won't be on the track until later. But we're going to get the GoPros on the car, try to get some footage for the night. So stay tuned. Thanks for uh, watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you. So it's Saturday night. Uh, this is the main event night. We're actually pulling on the track for a hot lap session. Just gonna get out here, feel the car out a little bit, make sure everything's right. We actually pulled out with quite a bit of stagger. So we just wanted to make sure everything ran right, it was good. Uh, actually ended up putting it pretty close to the fence. Uh, Chase Stockton up in front of me there, um, just kind of trying to run his line. Still trying to get comfortable running the fence around this place. I've only had about eight laps around it in total, so 
otherwise, pretty good session. I think we were like 10th quick out of 26 cars. two to three laps into the feature here. Uh, the first few laps was just trying to fill the car out. I was actually lacking grip. Uh, there was quite a few cautions to back to it here. Uh, had pulled the front shocks, basically eased them up to get the rear weight or the weight to the rear of the car for more traction. Um, right here we had a pretty good battle with Justin Grant. Um, he's throwing some sliders. Uh, Matt West falls on the inside of me, and I think Logan Seavies uh, on the outside or somewhere there too. We're really racing in good company here, um, and I was very proud of our team to be in this position. We deserve to be here. We've been working hard, uh, spending a lot of time, money, and effort to get here uh, for our first season. So we're up here racing with the big dogs, and uh, it feels pretty good. You can see. JG kind of throws a right rear out there, but I calculated it. I knew it was coming. Dove back underneath them, and it's just a game of finding traction at this point and trying to save the right rear tire. It's a tough game because these cars, you've got to slide them so much to make them work uh, versus a modified where you drive them really straight. So you can see I just reached up, uh, easy up the left front shock. I dumped the compression out of the right rear. I tied it down. I kind of fought with that all race. I went back and forth. And one thing I'm trying to learn is to stop twisting so many knobs and just drive the dang car. So um, you can see we actually get a little better here though. We've got some pretty good traction and I'm just kind of cruising really. West falls on the inside. I know down there it's still dusty. He's not gonna advance. So I'm just kind of waiting for JG to mess up, which he goes to the bottom right there. Westfall kind of throw, slides in. And in these cars, you got to calculate for a guy sliding in on you or not, too. It's just a, it's an offense and defense mode in these cars. you got to really pay attention to both sides. of Westfall. I get a real good drive off the corner. At this point my car is really balanced. Really good. I know I've got to get past Chase Stockton as fast as I can. He's really hard to pass. Uh, every track I've been to this year, the Mile and Port Royal I've fought I'm trying to get around him. So I, get, I finally get by him right here but the problem is I get up in the dust and actually lose position and at this point I think that the right rear tire is going away. There's not but 10 laps to go and I know my spotters already told me the right rear is not looking real good and it's almost conserved mode but you still gotta go because the guys ahead of you they could fall back too. It made me feel a little better because I was having a hard time. I was dropping positions. I'm still up here with good fast guys, but you can tell we're all struggling. Uh, right there, you can tell the car got tight going in too. So you can tell the tire's giving up. It's losing forward traction. And at this point, you're just frustrated in your head because you thought what you had to be possibly a top eight run for the night. You're dropping 10th, 11th, 12th at the moment. So. Um, I'll cut this video kind of short, but what happens here is two of the guys up ahead of us have flats. K 
Kaylee Bryson has flat. She goes by here in a minute. She just used her stuff up, but she ends up having a flat, which puts us back up to about 10th on the final restart with two to go. And we end up blowing up the right rear, uh, coming out of turn two. And I drove it to the finish line, but ended up 15th. So um, it was a tough night. Uh, first time really, truly at Eldora. My first time there last year, we had a clutch go bad. I didn't, I didn't even make a single lap. So these are truly my first laps around Eldora Speedway. And I was pretty happy with it. So. No pleasure. I ain't here to make friends. Big stepper. Hey, bad guy. Heath Ledger. Ready for whatever. I'll be front and center. Don't fly too close to the sun. Your body chopped up by propellers. Came in, came in arrogant, but left out in the stretcher. Fuck the comparison. Y'all know y'all couldn't replicate it. Chilling in the desert. I'm good under pressure. Stick around. 